Hi, my name is Seppo Paju, or Seppo Paju if you will. I'm a professional disc golfer from Finland. Some of you might know me, and some of you don't. I used to compete on the highest level there is, Incredible. mostly in the US, but after the pandemic hit, I came back to my home country Finland, and I have been competing here ever since. I also used to make videos in English, but I switched that back to my native language Finnish after coming back here. So this is my first video in almost a year in English. I hope you enjoy it. I have been playing disc golf for about 15 years all over the world and I have seen hundreds of disc golf courses and I have actually designed tens of courses myself in Finland. About a year ago I heard about this project located in Åland Islands. You might think, where is Åland Islands? It's a small island located between Finland and Sweden. It has its mainland surrounded by a bunch of smaller islands. They have a population of about 30,000 people and it's only 1,500 square kilometers. However, I heard that they are building about 20 disc golf courses and they already have built in one year over 10 disc golf courses there. So as soon as I knew about this, I knew that I have to get there and make some videos for you. The Åland Islands is only a few hour ferry ride from my city Turku, and I have never been there. I got my trip planned out thanks to Mats and Visit Åland. By the way, this video is sponsored by Visit Åland, so huge thanks to them for making this possible. I was ready to go. I packed up my gear, picked up my camera person, who was my little sister Aino, thanks to Aino for coming with me. We took the ferry from Turku to Åland. It took about six hours for that trip and for the round trip, including our car and a room for both ways, it was only 156 euros. So I thought it was really cheap. As soon as we arrived in Mariaham, which is the capital of Åland Islands, we drove to have two disc golf clinics for the local people. Also right before the clinics, I had two interviews done for the two local newspapers about me, my trip and disc golf overall. Clinics went really well, bunch of smiley faces, thank you all for participating and I was ready to go sleep, rest and get ready for the next day. The next morning we woke up for the first day of disc golf in the island. We actually had to take another 30 minute ferry from Svina to Fögle. Fögle disc golf course is a short course part 27 with 9 holes. One of the most beautiful disc golf courses I've actually played. For example, holes 3 and 4, right by the Baltic Sea, beautiful views, and even little rain didn't bother us, and weirdly it was dead calm. I also managed to get my first ace of the year, which was super awesome. That was the last hole of the track, and I played the course minus 6, which I thought was pretty good. Fögle disc golf course was a perfect start for the trip, I didn't have to throw all that hard, it was a great introduction to the area and we got some beautiful views. I would give Fögle disc golf course 4 out of 5 stars, they are actually expanding the course from 9 holes to 18 holes and I heard that they might even be able to expand it to 27 holes. Later that day I picked up my girlfriend Hanna from the harbor, she also took that same ferry from Turku after work and hanged out with us for the weekend. And on Friday we went to the longest course on the island. The Saltuna disc golf course located in Yeta. That's the northest point of the mainland. The disc golf course was also in the third highest spot in the islands. And you could tell the views were incredible. The front nine on this course was marked as the amateur friendly part of the course and the back nine was marked as the pro friendly layout. There was a big difference as on the back some of the holes were measured over 200 meters, while the shortest one on the front was about 50 meters. The local club held doubles in Soltuna, where I played with the local 13-year-old kid, Max. He made some amazing putts in the wind, and we actually won the doubles with minus 10. So thanks to Max for playing with me. I did not tell you earlier that after the round in Fögle, I also played a round in Kastelholm Disc Golf Course. Well, that was a super rainy round, our audio was messed up, so I wanted to go back there on Saturday with Hanna and Aino and play a round. Luckily, we got a super nice weather, so join me.
All right, everybody, here we are at Kastelholm Disc Golf Park. And so far we have played three other courses. We played here earlier, like two days ago, but we had a lot of rain. So we wanted to come here again just because of the area is overall so nice. The castle is over there. I'm sure we're going to see a little bit of it on the camera. Overall, had really good memories on this course and uh, wanted to come here again. Without a further ado, let's get to the whole one. So I'll be throwing my P Model S on the first hole. Straight ahead, 72 meters. Let's start off with a birdie for the day. That's a good start. Nice. Oi. Hey, I think I hit the rock road here. I thought it was better, but this shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> nice. Come on. Hole 278 meters. I don't know if you can see the basket, but it's slightly from right to left. I'll throw my M1 beat up in a little bit of tailwind. Little early, but that's good. All right, we have about maybe eight and a half meters. Yes, it's so nice to pot when it's warm. For all week it's been raining, so I've been freezing. One of my favorite holes on the course is hole three. It's only 66 meters, but uh, from the basket you can see the castle and you can also see the old windmills. I like to throw the A2 sidearm. Lance Brown signature disc from uh, 2019. That's good. Come on. Yes, that should be about five meters. golf course on that side and we're playing disc golf on this side we're on hole five i'm four under playing very good for myself uh, 54 meters i think i'll throw a sidearm with my a2 the basket is straight ahead you could go straight with the putter or little anheuser or wide but i i like to go a2 pretty wide uh, that's good, actually. That's why I throw the wide, because there's so much room. All the other gaps are way smaller, but I'll give it a try. I'll throw the other two gaps also. P model US from the straight gap. P model S from the little Anheuser. I was longer than I thought. I thought I was going to be in about 5 meters, but 10 meters or 30 feet to continue the birdie streak. Nice. Five down after first five holes. 
One of my favorite holes on the course, hole 8, 91 meters. Looks very basic, but I, I like the view, the lonely trees, the few options that you have. You could go slight hyzer, big hyzer, sidearm, turnover, anything. And uh, I'll throw my M1. By the way, after seven holes, I'm six under. I had a par on hole six, I believe. But let's finish out nicely. That's money. It needs to fade. Yes. Should be inside the circle at least. Maybe a little short. Ooh, a little bit to the right, but it's in the basket. That's seven under after eight holes. Finishing out the course with hole nine. This is the longest hole on the course, 103 meters. You can see the basket there. Looks like a very basic hyzer, but let's see how, how we can do it. I'll throw the H1. I think that should be good. If it's long enough, that's on the chips. Wood chips. Nice. As I said, I'm on the wood chips. As I am, I'm finishing out the course, the Castel Home Disc Golf Course, eight under for se uh, eight under for nine holes. Extremely happy about that. It was a good putting day for me. Overall, this was probably my favorite course out of the courses that we played on this trip, just because not that it's the most professional or the most challenging course for me, but it was fun. I like the beauty of it and. Uh, Finally, we had the sunny weather, so that was also a bonus. And since I played with Hanna and Aino, it was also a nice course for them. I hope you liked that. And after the round, we went to Stalhagen Brewery. That's a tough word for me to pronounce. But however, that's where we went. One of the founders of the brewery, Hasse, invited us for lunch and gave us a little tour in the brewery. And in Stalhagen, there is also a disc golf course in the backyard, so you must check that out too. We visited Tafel factory store, got some goodies obviously, rode some bikes, went to this peninsula, super beautiful, it was blooming and got a bunch of nice pictures of us. We had to get some more disc golf in too, we played the Maria Ham disc golf course, it's made by Lions Club, it's part 27, 9 holes, Super nice course for beginners and I also enjoyed it with some beautiful birdie. views obviously <laughs> And Hanna got her first ever birdie and she played four over par I believe which is by far her best score on any track We also visited probably five different restaurants all were really good great food and that's for me a Big part of the trip great food great drinks this would be the ultimate disc golf journey for you and your friends or you and your family or for you by yourself. You could, you could come to Finland, play those courses and take the short ferry ride to Åland and play those amazing courses. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know how it is. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below which was your favorite disc golf course out of these all. I am Seppo Payu or Seppo Payu or even apple pie if you will. Let me know if you want some more English content and I'll keep doing it. Thank you, I'll see you later.